Hello viewers, this is Ajahn Rafi once again. Welcome to this LinkedIn boosting and marketing tips video. In this video, you will see some job invitations I got directly from clients through LinkedIn without even reaching out to them. I will also cover what I did and what I am doing to get clients directly, some tips for you and the process that I use to market my service, what you can follow to boost your presence as well. Without further talk, I am signing into my LinkedIn profile to move ahead. Here we are, moving to my message box. As you can see, this person sent me an email yesterday with a query. On the time, we were not even connected to each other. She used email to discuss and she asked a price quote for my B2B lead generation service. Let's move to the next and one of the successful reach outs. Here, this lady came to me asking my availability on a part-time data entry job and after two days of conversations, I am glad to let you know, finally we are in a private contract for 6 months and 20 working hours dedication each week. So hey, I think you would love to congratulate me by commenting below. You can pause the video and do this right now. Thanks for the times. So I have just showed you two of the realistic examples of lead generation or getting clients directly from LinkedIn. And it's time for me to show you what you need to have, what needs to be done after having the profile to get discovered and to get job invitations from recruiters. The first thing you need is your LinkedIn profile which is organized with a professional look and filled up with necessary information. You might have a better organized profile than mine, but I am using my profile for video and example purpose. For the sake of my service offerings, I am using a premium one, but it's okay to have a standard profile. As everyone knows, LinkedIn is one of the social media sites, but it is special because here people are gathering in for professional purpose. So we should organize and use it with a professional way. So the first thing you need to attract a recruiter is by adding a photo which has a professional and friendly face. Please check out mine. And am I looking like a friendly person or should I try another image? Please let me know in the comment section below. To explain the photo fact, your photo speaks louder than you do. So please think and spend a little extra time while you are choosing your profile picture. When we are talking about the second part, it is the title. Title section is the place where you should place your service and profession keywords, which a recruiter could use to find people like you on LinkedIn. As you can see, I have added all my profession or service keywords in my title and also to let recruiters know I am available, I have added the last part, open for contracts. So it's time for the third section, but before I proceed to it, I'd love to let you know about the upcoming Facebook marketing tutorial. I will cover in that video how one single shout lend me 5 clients from Facebook. To stay tuned, please subscribe now and click on the bell icon to get instant notification on any future uploads. So now, here we are in the third section which is profile summary. Many of the people make mistakes in filling this field most of the time. In this field, a professional profile should have a combination of skill promotion and the benefits clients are going to receive from you. So when you are writing your profile summary, please make sure you prioritize your potential client benefits along with your skills. If you have an interest, you can take a closer look at my LinkedIn profile from the description field of the video. Our fourth important section is the experience field. As we know, LinkedIn is not just a social media, but it is an online resume of a career. We can add our work experience in this field, including the current company, the current position and the previous work history as well. 
please make sure you added all the current and previous work history with clear title and responsibilities you have for current positions and you had on previous companies. It will give your potential clients or recruiter a very good overview of you, your skills, previous experiences to consider you for their project. After the experience section, you have to be careful about adding your educational information. Please put accurate information about your educational background so that recruiters will not be in needed to spend time to ask you about your educational qualification. So there will be a chance to get direct interview offer. After organizing this section, you will have another important part which is adding main and relevant skills to your profile. Please add as much skills you have and try to share contents related to your skills and reach out to people. So you will have endorsements easily. Endorsements indicates your reputation on LinkedIn, so please try to get as much as you can. There are many ways to get endorsement. Please make a search to learn and if you need my help, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment, comment box below. So these are the most important sections of a LinkedIn profile to put accurate information in an organized way to get discovered by potential recruiters or hiring person easily. I am going to make a conclusion of this video here and will show you the LinkedIn marketing process that I do to get recognized by potential clients step by step in the second part of this video soon. Before I get off, I'd love to know, was this video resourceful to you? Is there anything I missed or do you have any opinion to share? If you have a question regarding the video, please feel free to ask and if you want me to make a video on a particular topic, please let me know as well in the comment section below. I look forward to see you in the next video. Thanks for being with me. Have good times.